Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lunar Goddess Tarot, and I'm very excited because I am using the card decks again from Diane Garris. So I just wanted to list a few of the decks that she so kindly gifted me. One of them is the Divine Counterparts Speak in the Silence. Another one of them is a Twin Flame Mirror Dialogue Oracle deck, Secret Messages from Your Person. She has a shop over on Etsy. I'm going to provide her link below. Um, she wanted to thank those of you who had already purchased from her over the weekend. She was very, very surprised and excited. So thank you for supporting her. These cards are beautiful and very clarifying. So then the other one that I have here is the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Speak, Mirroring Dialogue from the Heart, Volume 2. I think I have Volume 1 and 2 here. I, she just gave me a whole bunch of decks, guys. I'm really blessed and I'm so excited to use them again. And then what I'm also going to be using are some the clarifying deck and these are, let me just show you. Now I need to go ahead and merge these two when I'm ready, but these are called the interpretation decks, the integration cards, okay? So these are more advanced and I do need to spend some more time with them, but I am being called to use and I haven't integrated the two decks here, but I am being called to use this deck just to clarify and just to kind of integrate the messages for you guys. So I'm gonna move the cards a little closer. If you guys are wanting individualized guidance, Holly, the Twin Flame Healer and myself are offering two on one sessions. So you will receive guidance from both of us all at the same time. And we're offering these, it's a limited amount each month. We're already booking out until the, basically the end of October at this time. And just so you guys know, I'll be on vacation that last week of October. So those of you who are starting to book now, we may start to book you into November because I will not be working that week at all. It's my self care, it's my self love week for my birthday. And um, so just wanted you guys to know, I will have some videos that will, I'll make sure that I pre-record so you will have videos to, to watch. Don't, I won't completely forget about you, but on the break, on the vacation, I will not be working at all for those eight days. Okay guys, so <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and, oh, and one last thing. If you wanted to book one of those sessions with us, I now have them available on the website with more payment options than if you were to email me to book a session. So you can go over to the website, go under the offerings page. I have it linked below, very simple. And you can go ahead and click. And then just remember to email me when you're done because for some reason, those emails, the confirmation of payments from my website is still going to my junk mail. So until I sort that out, please email me and say, hey, I booked those sessions, I'd like to schedule. Okay, great, so let's get started. So what I'm picking up on guys after this weekend was, A, we had a hell of a week last week. <laughs> B, we had a hell of a week. And C, we had a hell of a week. What the actual fuck was going on? Um, and that's the actual emails that I received from several of you in my group and then several of you who just, who are viewers of the channel. There's been, we had, some sort of an attack that occurred after Lionsgate or during Lionsgate. So we're still recovering from that. Um, <clears throat> that is something that happened that um, Kay Moon is talking about on her channel. She's a, an astrologer for Twin Flames. So that was interesting to, to find out. She has videos up talking about going into 2022. I haven't watched those yet, but I think those would be probably very helpful. And, you know, 8-8 eight, eight is a portal. It's it's the most potent portal for twin flames. So there's there's no wonder that there was some sort of attack. And the masculines in particular um, have been basically trying to come back from that. But the feminines are suffering as well because we are their counterparts and we're feeling everything that they're experiencing. So a lot of what we saw is a lot of um, counterparts come together <clears throat> during that Mars Venus integration and meetup in July. Okay. And then after that, <clears throat> we saw the 8-8 eight, eight portal and we saw the counterparts kind of separate again in the physical realm. And maybe some of the masculines go back to karmic situations or karmic partners. And it's kind of like one last hurrah. And uh, so a lot of the feminines have been very confused, very heartbroken, very hurt, and just in a lot of pain. Okay. So I'm going to try to give you guys some clarifying messages here. So we received some messages from the masculine, some, some integration um, cards here to really integrate the messages. You know, the first thing that's coming up here without me shuffling, guys, is perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay that one out with that lucky number 13 there on the card. 
we have the, the card of asking you guys to, you know, I also feel have patience and gain that perspective because all is definitely not what it seems on this journey. And we need to be really mindful that we're not taking the, the 3D too seriously, especially at this time. One of the ways in which twin flames can be attacked is to have our perspectives really skewed, okay? So just be mindful that this could be occurring for you right now, guys. And, <clears throat> okay, actually they want me to start with these cards, that's interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to my guidance and we're just gonna invite in my guides, my higher light team, and my star family and my highest self to please Please create a violet sphere of protection around this reading and myself and everyone watching at any point in time, any place, in any time, any timelines. And I ask that you help me to be a pure vessel of divine truth and to provide the messages compassionately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. All right, so let's get a message for the feminine connections. So, you know, this is interesting. So the feminine, you have this interesting... You know, this is the, the seventh chakra, the crown chakra, I believe. So, and I haven't studied these cards in detail. So Diane, please forgive me. Um, but I'm just really being called to use them before I've had the time to, to really thoroughly go through them. But I think what I'm going to do is actually look at your beautiful booklet here. So we have seven A. So let's take a look. Yes. Um, in this layer of the crown, we are challenged to understand connections in higher ways than from the viewpoint or energies of the lower chakras. This is so, so, so vital right now for the divine feminine. This is so beautiful. This is all about that, that higher perspective divine feminine. Now I see why I was guided to use these cards first, okay? Because you guys are freaking out a little bit. The divine feminine is really in kind of a freak out mode. She doesn't understand why her counterpart has acted the way he has or said things that he said. And this is saying you are asked to integrate the connection that exists between the mind, body, and spirit or soul. Begin this process by connecting each chakra together using your breath. Here is where you can also connect the third eye with the crown chakra and begin to grasp the power you have to shape your future individually and as part of the collective. On an earthbound level, the message is to examine your connections and the way you use them or have used them. If you have eliminated deeply ingrained patterns of relating, look now for life-altering connections to develop. Expect to be transported to new heights. So guys, we are really wiping the slate clean. And we know that as twins, we're here to show the world how to have connections based in unconditional love. Okay, we are transforming the way in which relationships are viewed. So this is such an uh, important card at this time. It's just, it's, it's a vital card. It's a potent energy right now for the divine feminine to tap into. Okay. You're being challenged to understand connections in higher ways than from the viewpoint or energies of those lower shoppers, greed, envy, lust, um, all of those things. And at this time, I need to note that, um, dreams have been very vivid, very vivid. You want to protect yourself before you go into your dream state, you can call on Archangel Michael to assist with that. And you also, guys, you may be dreaming about exes again. Okay, that's coming up. We are clearing out more layers and more layers. Just when you think you've cleared out enough, more layers come to the surface. But guys, you are healing your connections at this time. You are healing your divine counterpart connection, okay? And you're gaining a new perspective. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your counterpart, be patient with other people in your life. So the divine masculine is working in the heart chakra, guys. There's a few cards that wanted to come out for the masculine, and this has been happening recently with the masculines, guys. They're very, they're very much um, wanting to communicate in these readings in ways in which I've really never seen before. Um, so they're working in in the emotional realm. Okay, they're working in this realm of um, the heart, and I feel like what they want to say to you is, "I'm full of emotion for you." And this is, you know, about the higher vibration, right, of the heart chakra, the energies contained in the lower chakra. So that those lower energies kind of swirl up and come up into the heart chakra, but then they're represented and communicated and embodied in a much higher fashion, at a much higher vibration. It says, when this chakra is open, we suddenly realize that we cannot be hurt by others. It's very beautiful because we love ourselves and we see ourselves and we accept ourselves. 
balance your feelings rather than stifle them. This is what the masculine is learning to do. They used to stifle their emotions. Now they can't do that anymore, guys. This comes up over and over and over. If you are new to my channel, guys, go watch readings over the past month. I'm serious, or six months, I'm sorry, six weeks or eight weeks, because this is what you're gonna see as a theme that the masculines are ready to express themselves open their hearts and really tap into their emotions in a way in which they haven't been able to be before. Love or self-love is not about arrogance, ego, narcissism, or obsession. On the earthbound level, look for love to show up in one form of another. If you have lost in love, bring love back into your life, not from the outside, but from the multidimensional realms that exist all around us. Allow your capacity to love and to be loved to expand and shine through, circulate. They are really, really wanting to um, have deeper connections in their lives. They're tired of being closed off. What's very interesting is we also have the crown chakra showing up for the masculine. So the feminine is focused on connections. The masculine is focused on integration or wholeness. How do I make myself whole, right? How do I embody this, this idea that I am this divine counterpart, divine masculine, but also that I am a human being? Okay, so the masculines are learning how to integrate at this time. And what's happening now is a this energy is circulating through all of their chakras and especially you know a lot of the energies here guys is in the upper chakra so we've been experiencing migraines heart palpitations um, you may be experiencing tinnitus in the ears mine is always in the right ear some of yours will be in both ears or one ear but it's typically if it's ascension it's typically in one ear not both ears and um, just kind of face pain jaw pain um, like literally guys it will feel like the bones of your face are cracking. They're forming a new structure. You're going to start seeing your face look differently. It may look more like your counterparts right now. Um, it may look, you know, the, the masculines may see that they look more like they're feminine right now. But what's happening is we are, we are shifting at the cellular level, guys. We are cleansing and clearing out the stuff that cannot be there anymore. If you guys want more in-depth information, please go over and support me on Patreon. And thank you so much to everyone who's gone over there recently. Um, I've been posting a lot over there because there's a lot to share, guys. There's a lot to share about what's going on right now. And if you weren't able to join the coaching program to receive that guidance, that individualized guidance there in the coaching program, or if you're not able to do any sessions with myself and Holly, I really urge you to hop on over to Patreon. There's a level starting at $5, goes all the way up to 50. I don't have any $50 Patreons yet, but I do have a lot of $25 Patreons and that's the VIP and then the all access, it's $10 a month. So it's either a monthly membership or you can purchase a yearly membership. But I just posted something all about what is going on. It's a union timeline update and it's all of this. It's what's going on in the world and how that's affecting things out in global scale and how that's affecting the divine masculine because it's affecting us significantly down here, guys. Um, they're starting to develop a more like a more healthy view and perspective of the world and of this connection and of you where they're no longer looking at you like you're just so different and we're so different. They're starting to realize that they have aspects of you and them and you have aspects of you of them and you. So they see themselves in you and they see you in themselves and they're very much realizing that you guys are divine counterparts in however they want to describe that. So they're starting to also realize that this idea of oneness, this idea that I'm not separate from the whole. And even if your masculine never wanted to be part of a collective, because my masculine legit said to me, I never want to be part of a collective. And I was like, you don't even know. You already are part of a collective, my love. So they are starting to... Um, really radiate love out from you know every part of themselves and they're realizing that you know their actions have consequences and even their inactions have consequences and that it affects others so guys they're really maturing at this time they're emotionally maturing and this is just really beautiful and very inspiring to see very um it, it gives us a lot of hope okay for what's to come and things are speeding up quite rapidly and again i talk a lot about that more over on patreon so interesting to have present and future so this is about the third eye this is about the masculines being able to see clearly in the present moment okay and have that clarity but also to be able to see into the future they're having visions 
and their gifts are coming online. Now, whether that is clairvoyancy, clairaudiency, clairsentiency, but in some way, shape or form, guys, they are shifting. Their gifts are seriously coming online. And I can't even begin to express how exciting this is and my own connection. So, you know, in, in, in the past, you know, the present card coming up tells us that in the past they wanted to escape the present, but now they're wanting to be just immersed in the present moment. They're like, take me there. I want to be there. I want to feel the pain. I want to feel the joy. I want to feel everything. Like they're, they're no longer wanting to escape with addictions. They're no longer wanting to just say, you know what? This is too much. I can't handle this. I'm going to go over here. No, instead the masculine saying, let me be present for everything that's happening in my life so I can feel it, so I can move through it. They're not trying to suppress it or repress it as much anymore. They really want to heal it, guys. Um, so a lot of things, this is kind of like the Six of Cups energy where a lot of stuff from the past might be coming up you know, to the surface. It might be bubbling up to, not to haunt them, but so it can be cleared and healed. And they're really wanting, and that's so they can clear away the layers for the future with you, okay? This is about the need for them to understand what am I doing here? Why am I here? And what does this all mean? And this is how they're gonna come into wholeness. They're gonna integrate, guys. Third eye, crown chakra, heart chakra, all upper level chakras. We're not dealing with the lower vibrations at this time. So they're ascending, okay? Their energy is ascending. Yeah, they're definitely becoming more clairvoyant and they're starting to have more faith, you know, in divine timing and trust, and also just realizing that things have had to happen the way they did, um, you know, for a reason with you in particular. Now I'm gonna take this, this other kind of additional part of this deck that I'm going to eventually integrate with these cards, but I haven't been called to do that yet. <clears throat> but what I am called to do is just to choose a card here for the connection itself. And this is really gonna be how the masculine is feeling about the feminine. Okay, that was pretty clear. Forgiveness, very beautiful. So we're back in the heart chakra, guys. Another layer of the heart chakra, forgiveness. Look at all, you know, it's like a spiraling. It's, um, it's this energy of there are layers of forgiveness that I know that I need to work through with you, my love. And we have to forgive many lifetimes where we've hurt each other, betrayed each other, deserted each other, abandoned each other, rejected each other, chosen other people. Um, and and this, this is really coming to the surface. There's just so much being cleared and healed look another oh my god guys the the masculines are so in their heart space right now this is incredible um i see why i was called to do this reading right now you know like right now right here right now i really understand now so the masculines are let me see this They're, they're definitely wanting to bring in more to the connection here in, a, in, in ways in which they haven't been able to in the past, okay? So if you give me a second, I'm gonna look at Diane's notes here. We forgive with the heart, not the mind. If you can get to a compassionate state in your heart, you can get to forgiveness. Here we are talking about the deep kind of forgiveness that spans multi-dimensions. Forgive people and forgive yourself for anything from the past. Clear the slate with yourself and others. This is a beautiful energy, Masculines. Thank you so much for really tuning in and doing your work and trusting this connection and this journey in your divine feminine. Now, the higher love, guys, they are very much aware on multi-levels now that this is a multifaceted connection. It's multidimensional. They are very aware of who you are. And it's starting to really flow over into their 3D world where guys, they cannot, if they're with someone else, um, their energy, their attention, everything is focused on you and they cannot deny it anymore. Higher love is a transformative kind of love that comes from working through all the layers of the chakras and all of what is hidden there. This is true healing. A relationship can transform now. This includes all kinds of interpersonal relationships. Reach for this higher love and bring it deep into your heart space. I mean, they're, they're just wanting to move forward. They, the, the masculines no longer wish to stay in the past. They no longer wish to stay in, 
and those places where they were lying to themselves about how they felt about you, about what this connection was, about what they wanted for their life. Like they, they don't, they can't even do that anymore. It's, it's becoming too much of a burden for the masculines to stay where they were, guys. Beautiful, beautiful energies. Thank you, Diane. These are amazing cards. Very powerful. I would suggest with the integration cards that you have a, an understanding of the chakras or, or if you're just wanting to learn the chakras. But these are very um, powerful cards, okay? The integration cards are, it's a very unique energy. So I just want to put that out there that you may want to be, you know, somewhat... Um, more advanced in your connection and you know in your spirituality and in your practice and really in your journey but maybe you just you're really eager to learn you know what the the chakras are all about and how they affect us down here on earth so just um check in with diane if you have any questions about the decks but this is definitely a very it's an activator deck guys it's going to activate things i can feel it activating things within these connections already it's very powerful so this is more than a reading you know you guys know that if you've been on my channel it's more than a reading this is a healing this is a guidance session it's a coaching session this is not just a typical reading that i offer and this goes for all of my my card readings the cards are tools, they're divination tools, but I am a psychic, I'm intuitive, much like many of you. So the cards are just the tools. So the masculine wants to say, your words hurt me and I know mine hurt you. I'm sorry. And there's that forgiveness coming in. Like, I'm, I'm sorry that I've caused you pain, my love. I'm sorry if I've let you down or if I've betrayed you in any way. And I, you know, the things that you said to me, it hurt. I, I, I really took it to heart. And I want you to know that I was affected by what you said. And, and they might still be kind of reeling from that. But what it's doing is it's opened up their gifts. It's helping them tap into their heart, their true emotions into forgiveness. So if you said something that, you know, might have seemed harsh in the moment, just you know if it was necessary for you to express in your divine counterpart connection. Okay, this one really wants to come out. I feel heartbroken. Yeah, they're, they're definitely, I mean, guys, the, the masculines, look, they, they've got three heart chakra cards here that came up to represent them in this reading. They're struggling with their emotions. They're struggling with pain. They're struggling with, um, for, you know, forgiving themselves, forgiving you, okay? And, you know, they've avoided their feelings a lot in the past, and that's just no longer an option. So things are really coming to the surface now where they're really having to deal with what they're feeling look i'm hiding my true feelings from you so if you're masculine especially in this past week guys if your masculine was like maybe they said i don't care about you or the you know this is a one-sided connection it's never going to go anywhere uh, you're crazy or i mean i've heard a lot of stories this past week from you guys reaching out to me i want you guys to know that they didn't mean that this was this was not <laughs> The masculines are, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So they were moving through something very painful and they feel heartbroken themselves. And so they may have lashed out in some way. But they say, when we're together, I feel alive and time stands still. So they know that this is a divine connection. They know this is a higher love. Okay. They're very aware. I'm going to put that here. They're very aware of what this connection is. It's just the things in the 3D get in the way, right? They're, our egos get in the way. I can't deal with the drama. We have such passion and intensity, but I feel like you manipulate me and play games. It's just not necessary. This is a message coming from the feminine to the masculine. So a lot of you have been fed up. You want off the journey. You've emailed me. I'm so done. I want off this godforsaken journey. Um, I'm really fed up. I'm fed up with the games and the bullshit, the deceit, the lying, the drama. I don't want to do this anymore. So this is a message coming from the feminine saying, I'm really tired of this. And I just want some relief from this. I just want to feel like we are being honest with each other. Can't we just have an honest relationship, an honest conversation? We both walked away from something that was that could have been wonderful, was wonderful. I am so sad. That's the masculine, you know, the masculine saying, I'm hiding my true feelings from you. We both walked away from something that was really beautiful and now I'm sad and I'm heartbroken. So they're acknowledging the pain. A lot of what's going on with the, the masculines is 
they know the feminine doesn't trust them. So they're, they're wanting to be and grow into and mature into the type of man that you can trust or the type of woman that you can trust, okay? Because that came up a lot in this weekend's reading. Are you going to stay away forever? I need communication. This is from the masculine to the feminine. This is for those mas those feminines who have walked away. The masculine says, I don't know how to deal with this silence. Like this is the first time that you've done this. And guys, they're really heartbroken about it. <coughs> they feel the pain of what you felt when they may have done that to you. I have certain ideas about how a relationship should be. I don't know if I can give you what you want right now. I don't know I can ever give you that. Are you better off without me? Maybe. And this is the masculine's fear is that, you know, there's someone out there better for you that's going to take care of you better, that's going to love you better, that's going to be able to, um, to give you what you really need and deserve because this is the self-worth element where they don't feel like they're worthy enough of this kind of higher love. And this is where they have to forgive themselves, forgive their trespasses against you. And this is really, this is a time for them to come into wholeness and integration because they really have to come to an understanding of why this has happened. Why things have had to happen the way they did. And yeah, they've had certain ideas about how a relationship should be. And even though you're their perfect person, they just feel like they can't measure up to what you offer. Like you offer so much and they feel like they offer so little. They don't see their value. So they that is part of what is being healed at this time for the masculine collective is self-worth in a major, major way. And a lot of forgiveness work needs to be done with self-worth as well as inner child work, as well as them healing their connection to the, um, the inner parent, okay? And the actual physical parent. The inner parent typically becomes the inner critic. So for a lot of them, they have to heal that relationship where their parents said that they weren't going to measure up to anything. It felt safe to open my heart to you. Then what? Was it a game for you? It wasn't for me. Now, typically, I would think this is from the, mas the feminine to the masculine. This is from the masculine to the feminine, right? Because they're so in their heart space right now. And the feminine is mostly detached. She's mostly hanging out in these, this higher chakra here. He's like, I felt safe to open my heart to you. And then you kind of like it, it, it backlashed on me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I opened my heart and then you walked away. Um, and he's saying, is this a game to you? And you're saying to him, I can't deal with the drama in the game. So you guys are doing some mirroring in that respect. I don't know what to do. So I do nothing. Yeah. The masculine gets caught in not knowing what to say or what to do, how to feel, he feels like you don't care. Yeah, they are definitely caught up in their their own drama, their own mental chatter um, about why you walked away. And it's hard for them to see that they've walked away from you before and that they've chosen other people or other you know, experiences or connections or whatever it was. It's, they can't see that. So when you do it, they're, it's like they're blind to what... Um, you know, what they may have put you through. But the feminine isn't doing this to be... You're not doing this to punish them. You're doing this because it's out of self-preservation and self-love. So the masculines need to realize that you're just protecting your energy. But now the masculine's kind of mirroring that and wanting to protect their energy. And they say they don't know what to do, so they just kind of hang out and do nothing. Which causes a standstill. I wish we both would have had the courage to go deeper. So the masculine's recognizing that you both lacked some courage to really bring more depth into the connection and to go to that deeper level of commitment and that deeper, you know, that higher love. But guys, sometimes it takes a few rounds of forgiveness work and being honest with yourself, being honest with each other. Sometimes there are lessons to learn from other people as painful as that can be for both parties. The masculine doesn't get any joy out of hurting the feminine. Okay, on the highest level, on the highest plane, the masculine hates hurting the feminine because it hates him. And even in the physical plane, you know, he doesn't want to hurt you, but he has to go through these, these connections. He has to go through these lessons. 
you made me feel something. This was confusing. Yeah, he's like, I still trying to figure out the wholeness, the integration. What is this? Okay, and he's going to be receiving more and more guidance, guys, because he has this clairvoyancy coming through. <clears throat> I feel like it was easy for you to walk away. Are you gone for good? Yeah, the masculine's saying, look, are you going to stay away forever? I need communication. Are you gone forever? You know, like this time it just seemed really easy for you to walk away from me. How could it be that easy? They forget that they've done this to you. So this is sort of just things playing out karmically. So, you know, bringing things into balance so you both can feel what the other person has felt in, in different situations. I'm hiding the way I truly feel. Yeah, we know that. I'm hiding my true feelings from you. So let's just go ahead and... Um, got a busy day ahead with some private healing sessions. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to close out this reading for you and hope that this gave you a lot of clarity, especially these beautiful integration cards. And I am going to pull a card, a tarot card for the feminine. Is the feminine going to be moving through this week? Thank you. Two of Cups. So you actually are going to be more in your emotions, feminine. You're going to be feeling more um, open. Okay, you're going to your heart's going to be opening a little bit after a period of time where you've really been sort of closed off from the masculine and from the connection. You've been focused on work and abundance and success. So things are going to start to open up within um, your heart space. You might feel some shifts in that heart shocker, which may feel unpleasant. So just keep that in mind and. Um, you're going to be open again to those more intimate connections. So let's get a card here for the masculine. Okay. Card please for the masculines. What will they be moving through this week? God. it's like the masculines have so much to say where I get one card for the feminines I get two for the masculines wow guys two major arcana cards the wheel and temperance balance yes integration balance wholeness yes bringing in balance bringing in they're balancing out they're coming into that inner union guys okay they're following you they're following your lead and the wheel this is a lucky card. It's a positive card. It speaks of beautiful things to come. So beautiful things are coming for the masculine. They're coming into the connection. And what I feel this is saying is I feel this is saying that the wheel is turning and those karmic cycles are like everything is being flushed out. Things are moving forward in your connection. It's They're moving forward in the masculine's life and there's no going back. Things are absolutely shifting forward even if you can't see it, guys. So beautiful energies. I hope that this has been beneficial. If it has, please support my channel. Please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hop on over to Patreon to support me in greater ways over there. And I just, I thank you guys all so much for your support and helping me grow this channel over the past year and a half. God bless, blessings, and have a wonderful week ahead, and I'll see you guys soon with another reading.